I grew up in Bradford. Mm. Um, and we knew my dad came from Trinidad, mm. but it was never mentioned. We had yes. that velvet scroll on the wall saying yeah. Trinidad and Tobago, but that was it. And it was mm. sort of like a hush hush sort of thing. And yeah. it wasn't until he died that, that became... things came out and things that he used to tell my mum, my mum told me. So it was stories. And my way of keeping those stories alive was to write them down, add to them. So it has really informed my identity, that mixedness. Because I do feel that um, because of that mixedness in my heritage, I like to travel. Yeah. I really love to travel. It gives you an incentive to, to, to see the world and to go to exactly, new places. Exactly. I don't know if it's a case of like, one, when when I was young, my mum taught me to see Gypsy Rose Lee, a pretend one. Mm. But she says, you've got a birthmark on the bottom of your foot, that means you will travel. Wow. And I don't know if I'm fulfilling that, you know, because she's yeah. told me it, or if it really is true. It's actually was meant to be, yeah. 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 But I do travel a lot. I am very open to different cultures. His name was uh, Joseph Sobel, and um, he, was, he was born in Martinique. Um, and he really became um, famous for a novel that he wrote, it was published in the 1950s, called La Rue Casnec, or Black Shack Alley. Um, and it gained kind of international fame when it was turned into a film um, in uh, 1983. And, and it tells the story of how um, his grandmother struggled to keep him out of the cane fields and in education um, when he was a young boy growing up in Martinique. So it's a story about, about his, his, um, his boyhood in Martinique um, and, and how he, um, and it really the, the struggles that his grandmother um, uh, uh, um, made to, to, to really break him the, the man he is. Yeah. yeah. Yes, because I suppose that's interesting in terms of what he was saying that, you know, in, in, in exile in, in Paris, that distance gave him a sense of perspective and an understanding of, of his culture and, and his people in Martinique. So being in Paris allowed him to do that. So I suppose, I mean, it's sad to say, but I think it's, it's been after his death um, that, uh, that I've also been able to gain a kind of distance in terms of being able to look at his his writings and analyze them and um, you know and to, and to yes to kind of have that that, 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 that critical distance if you like um, but in that in, in a sense that's also brought me much closer to him well I think um, I suppose um, I think his passion for you know reflecting um, on the Caribbean and his ancestry and its links with Africa, um, you know, has made has kind of allowed me to do that. You know, even though I'm kind of removed from that in terms of being, you know, living, having been born and growing up here, um, it's kind of allowed me to to take that journey. Um, you know, and he's he, he's been a huge inspiration to me in that sense.